Right, a little bit more video while it's quiet. I'm walking round the outside of the, the tower now. Um, going through this gateway. And right down there this morning, I was parked. There's a park down there. That I can't see with that viewfinder, but down there, there's the um, car park where I parked this morning. Not very far at all, really. And I walked up through the town and ended up on the seafront taking some photos. Yeah, I just do video while I can. Because there's a lot of people about in the medieval tunnels that I did a minute ago. <sighs> this will be Peveril's Gate, early 13th century, possibly named after William Peveril, Constable 1066. So he, William Peveril, was one of my ancestors. William Peveril is one of my ancestors, everybody. And this gate's named after him. That's interesting, isn't it? I thought I knew there was a link. He was constable of this castle. I knew there was a family link here. He's one of my ancestors. Look, if you tell anyone that, they think you're flipping mad. Here we are, Peveril Gate and the Sergeant Major's house. Peveril Gate has stood since the early 13th century as a defended entrance between the ward baileys of the castle. It had battlements, strong gates and, as you can see, long arrow loops. In the 18th century it was a prison. The gate was used later as housing by officials and finally by married soldiers. The Sergeant Major's house was built about 1800 for officials of Ordnance Office who provided fortifications, guns, ammunition and stores for the Army and Navy. In the 20th century it was converted as a married quarters for non-commissioned officers after 1930 for a Sergeant Major. There's an old picture of it. Something coming by. Sergeant Major's house. Right, I'm just going to turn off for a minute because I want to take some pictures.